Cal uh, yes so um you know I'll, I'll re-summarize what i said you know i was deep into the witchcraft deep into the law of attraction the secret all that stuff you know i believed in the lord jesus i will pray to him for things but he would not give them to me you know but then when i came to the manifestation of you know the secret and the law of attraction i was getting everything on the spot so that led me away from the lord jesus that doctrine of the law of attraction and sending my thoughts to the universe and the universe was giving it back to me so when i went to go seek out this guru who was going to teach me how to become a god um like i said before when i found him he wanted nothing to do with me and i used to talk to him through my meditations through my practices through the astral projection and this guy wanted nothing to do with me in person so on the way home i you know the lord was already working in me so when i got home i said i got on my knees for the first time and i said god if you're real if you're real god you have to show me something so then then i go on youtube and this video comes up the, the video is called gods of the new age and it revealed to me that that these angels that I was speaking to, because um, I was seeing demons and, and talking to demons since I was four or five years old. My family, they were all witches. So that thing was all in my generation. So um, I was constantly having communication with these spirits. But then when I came into this doctrine, I started to believe that they were either aliens or or ascended masters or gurus or angels. And then... Um, so that video that I pulled up on YouTube is called Gods of the New Age. And it revealed to me that all these beings that I'm talking to were straight demons and demonic. That the yoga that I was doing was demonic. That the meditations, the astral projection, all that stuff, it told me that it was demonic. So since my grandma, as when I was a child, grew me up Catholic, I had a sense of the Lord Jesus and a sense of Satan. I wanted nothing to do with Satan. So if Satan came at me as how he really is, I would have said no to him, but he came to me as an angel of light. He deceived me fully. So that moment when I saw that video, I said, you know what? I'm not doing this again. And that's when the spirit said to me, you're not getting away that easy. And I said, what you mean? I'm not getting away that easy. What does that even mean? I didn't even know they were that malign. I didn't even know they were that evil. So then um, that very night is when the spiritual attacks began. Um, I was getting paralyzed in the middle of the night. I couldn't speak. Uh, science calls it sleep paralysis, but this is not sleep paralysis. This is a demonic attack. So I will wake up in the middle of the night. I can't speak. I can't open my mouth. I can't even, I'm trying to scream mom. And I know a lot of Christians struggle with this and nothing will come out of me. I, I would just somehow end up going to sleep and I wake up the next day. I'm like, oh my gosh, what happened last night? So this happened night after, and this happened after I saw that video. When, when I got revealed what exactly I was doing. So um, it happened night after night after night, January of 2014, night after night after night. And I would have to sleep with my light on. I was super afraid, super scared. And um, what, what I had to do was I had to go on the computer and I would try to search, how can I make these, thi these things go away? What are these? How can I make this go away? So since I, was, since I had that belief that I wanted to be my own God, um, since it's I had that weed, huh? You're over there blazing the blunt down there, huh? We want me to believe you want me to listen to your biblical opinions, and you down there smoking weed. This is why and, and I, you I, got exposed. Yo, homie, you got exposed, dude. You down there blazing, trying, oh, yeah. to, trying to have a biblical conversation. Man, if you don't get your Denzel Washington looking so <laughs> the enemy's working hard, fellas. If, if you, you don't tell. get your menace to society looking so like what? the, the enemy's working do. very hard these days. But um, yeah, like I was saying, wow. one, once I discovered and, and what I was trying to do is I was trying to make these things go away, but I was trying to do it out of my own, in my, my own power. So I, I did research and every research would say, call upon Jesus Christ. It is the only way, right? But since I had that doctrine that I wanted to be my own God, my own Lord, my own King, I didn't want to accept the Lord Jesus yet. You know what I'm saying? So the Lord did this on purpose. He had to crush me. So what happened is night after night, I would get attacked, levitated off the bed. These demons would run on the walls. They would appear, uh, three-headed beings, tall, skinny, all types of beings would come into my room. When I was messing with them, they did not look like that. But once I discovered that they were evil, they showed me their true self. So this happened night after night after night until the one night came where um, I used to do Asha projection voluntarily. This one night, the demons ripped me out of my body and I was in the middle of my room and I saw my body on my bed and I said, oh my gosh, I'm dead. I'm dead. My mom is going to come. My mom is going to come in my room. She's going to find me dead. So I jumped back in my body and I woke up and I said, oh my gosh, like what, what the heck was that? 
I did not do that on purpose. So I went back to sleep. And then they ripped me out again. And then I, I jumped back in my body and they ripped me out again and again and again. And I, I really thought I was dying. Like, no joke. I thought I was done. I was exhausted. But um, there was this one thing that I know the Lord did this. So I had so many names of demons and spirits that I would call upon who would do my bidding, who would do my work, whatever I wanted. They hey, brother, what's the point of the story, man? You're, sound, you're, you're talking about demons a lot. I don't hear no Jesus. Wait, I'm not done, bro. I'm glorifying yeah, the Lord Jesus. Yeah, bro, but you're spending a lot of time on the demons and not getting to the Jesus. Listen, like, it's gonna the, it's gonna be glorious at the, the end. The important part, the important part is Jesus, bro. You 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 said a lot of stuff. I mean, friend, brother. it's been 15 minutes, bro. You've been talking about so like brother. you know. In a, listen, brother, in a live stream, this is what happens: people jump in and they jump out and they jump in and jump out. So if someone jumped in and for the first five, all they heard was demons. You understand? I understand, brother, but okay. it's gonna be glorious at the end. The Lord Jesus Christ is gonna be exalted above measure. Okay. The more, the more evil the story, the more glory the Lord gets. You understand? So what happened is that the, this, where was I? So I called upon every spirit that I knew and the things got worse. So I know the Lord did this on purpose. He let me save the last name for last, which was the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So what happened was all these spirits were not helping me. So I got on my knees and I said, Jesus Christ, if you're real, Jesus, if you're real, I accept you as my Lord and Savior. I'll tell the world, I'll go on YouTube, I'll, talk, I'll go on a camera, I'll tell everybody about your name. If you, if you are real, I accept you as my Lord and Savior. And listen, he said, it is done. And the demons in the room went crazy. It wasn't a central light. The whole room was full of light, okay? The whole room was glorious. His whole presence came into my room. Everything in my room was breathing. The Lord gave life to everything in my room, gave life to me, gave peace to me. And the spirits never came back after that. And when they did come back, I can cast them out in the name of the Lord Jesus. Be gone. You see? So I just wanted to give my testimony to my people and let them know that this stuff is real. Okay. Amen. That was very simple. Amen. Hallelujah. Did you hear that, my testimony? It's almost yours is almost identical. Yes. Chris, so so this is where I was getting to where um um, you know, I needed help. And once I saw your video, I said, oh my gosh, I am not alone. Somebody else went through this with me. Like, I, I didn't know other people who went through this with me. And when I came across your video, I was like, yo, like, I'm not alone. You know what I mean? Amen. So the Lord Jesus receives of the glory forever and ever. His name is exalted forever. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. So, you must have a, you must how, have long a ago, how long ago was this, brother? This was in 2014, January 2014. But I practiced the new age for like five years. I, I became a, a, a yoga instructor, a meditation teacher, and all this stuff. I was very deceived, you know? Tell me, um, tell me how the Lord has worked in your life, bro, from 2014 till now. So the first year, when I first became a Christian, it was, it was a honeymoon. All my sins came off like this. Like It was like everything was so easy. I was able to stop smoking weed. I was able to stop selling drugs because I, I was really deep in the world. But what happened was that the first year came, and it was like the Lord said, okay, you were with me in a honeymoon. Now I'm going to put you in the fire. Now we're going to refine you. So all my sins came back. You understand the flesh, like all every sin that I thought about came back. So I had to work on those things and let them let them go. Stop smoking, like out of my own will. Okay. In the beginning, the Lord did it all. I was in a honeymoon, but then when the year came, I had to put my will into it and let go of the smoke and let go of the fornicate and let go of these things. I had to notice that these things are sinful. I had to, I had to notice that, that the connection between my Lord was not there because of my sins. You understand me? It was until the sanctification process started working in me that I came closer to the Lord. So then, you know, I joined um, a church, but even through that time, Satan was still trying to work because he sent me to a church where they believe in a mother God and they believe that Jesus Christ came already, the second coming. So Satan was already working. So I had to get in my word and guard myself from these things. You see, if I remained a baby and not in my word and not fasting and praying, I would have been deceived. I would probably still be deceived. You know what I mean? So, you know, I had to go on the leadership of a, of a man of God and, you know, teaching me how to serve, become an usher, like how to become a man of God. You know what I mean? So Sorry. when did when did you get born again? What year? Uh, 2014. 2014. And then I got baptized in 2015. Is that when you saw my video or recently you saw it? No, I saw your video like like around that time when I was going through this thing. After I got uh after I believed in the Lord, after I accepted him, I said, Oh my gosh, like I am not alone. And then I came across you, Stephen Bancars, and all these people who were into the New Age, because the New Age was a big movement at that time. 
Yeah. You know what I mean? It has slowed down a lot, but it was huge at that time. You know, it Even still is. Even saw my videos too, and they were yeah. a big part of him coming mm -hmm. at the stage. Yeah, the Lord used your videos. I he used his videos. You know, um, what's his name? Mario too. He was into the New Age. You know, the Christian Mario. He was into that. You know, and whatever they do is their business. But the Lord can use anything, and the Lord used them to help me. You know what I'm saying? Right. Right. Amen. Yeah. yeah. Amen. So, like I said, the Lord Jesus receives all the glory, all the honor, all the power forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And um, my channel is Do Not Be Deceived. I have my um, testimony in there in more detail in case you guys want to hear it. I have it in there. It's called Do Not Be Deceived. Amen. Tell me what he's doing in your life now, bro. Five years later, right? Oh, yeah, bro. Right now. Um, so, like I told you, um, the Lord is so gracious that um, he put me in a church where, um, you know, he... I had to learn everything like from scratch. So I had to learn how to love people. I had to learn how to be compassionate. I had to learn how to serve people. So the Lord put me in a church under a ministry where the, I became an usher and I learned how to serve my people. Now I'm the head of the cleaning ministry there, you know, so I'm, the Lord made me a cleaner. And you, you know what I'm saying? I went from a drug dealer to clean in the church. Like what the heck? I went from the <laughs> world, you know, to pain in the world to clean in the church. And the, and the Lord says that, you know, the least shall be the greatest. So I strive to be the least because I want to be the greatest in his kingdom. You know what I mean? Amen. So wow, I'm still amen. I'm still in that church and I'm loyal to that church. And, you know, sometimes my pastor, he he kind of slacks in the word, but he has chosen me and my best friend to, to pray for him after every preaching. So in, in my prayer, I... I kind of encourage, you know, through my prayer, I said, Lord, use, use my pastor, Lord Jesus, that he may preach Christ, that he may preach Christ, that he may preach Christ. Because, you know, preachers nowadays, they're kind of deviating from preaching Christ. They're preaching, you know, self-help mm -hmm. and, you know, all this stuff. So, you know, we're kind of helping our pastor out. And, you know, when, when the word doesn't affect me, I feel like, yo, this word is for somebody else here. I'm going to wait for my time. <laughs> you know That's I mean? humble. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah, some people go to church, oh, this is not my message, and just dip out. Yeah, amen. No, 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 no. That word is for somebody there. You know, that preacher, that word is for somebody there. So I'm just going to wait for my time. And my time is coming because now he's preaching Christ, which is all I want to know. You know what I mean? He's the one that saved me. So if amen. I was to get out of, if I was, if I was to get out of Christianity, what would I go back to? Back to the witchcraft? No way. Never. I can't. So I'm glad the Lord showed amen. me the point. You know, Amen. tell them your tell them your thing again so they can see your uh, testimony in full, brother. So my my channel is called Do Not Be Deceived. Is a picture of me and the Brooklyn Bridge behind me. It's called Do Not Be Deceived, and um, I have my testimony in there and different type of you know when I was five years ago, then three years ago, two years ago, so in different segments, but it's Amen. there. Amen. That's powerful. Amen. Yeah, Amen. Like God God. I know that's scary to be getting your story. Oh. Out like that. It, it, very, very scary. I'm telling you, I thought these beings were ascended angels. I thought they were ascended masters. I thought they were gurus. I thought they were aliens until I realized what they really were. And once they, Brother, this is, we give advice to those who've been in that sit that may be in that situation and think that these things are, you know, think that these things are angels or, or you know, there to help them or they love them. Can you uh, explain to them with your experience and your with your testimony, um, what's truly going on with with uh, these entities, like you know, when people take alawaska and yeah. when you know, when people summon demons, when people astral project, um, why don't you give them insight and tell them what's truly going on so maybe you can stop some people from um partake partaking in things like to, that? To be honest, um, if it wasn't if it wasn't for the Lord's grace and His mercy, I would have never known the truth. Like, He was just so gracious and so merciful to let me see that what I was in was evil. So, I feel like these people who are in this, Satan knows something that they don't know. That's why he's coming against them. Satan was trying to get me so deep into the new age, into the witchcraft and the drugs, because he knew that one day I was going to say yes to my Lord Jesus. You understand? So, all these people, they are, they are all called by God, right? And Satan is coming at them so hard. And, and and these people don't know, they don't they don't know that they're deceived. They don't know that they're doing these things because they are called by God. You know what I'm saying? So okay. the advice. Go ahead. Can I explain something on that? Ahead, when brother. you're taking ayahuasca or when you're doing New Age, what I found in my ministry through dealing with thousands of people, these demons are going to look at what you're seeking and they're going to appear to you in the yeah. form of what you're seeking. Like he said. 
he went and he was looking into new age and then they, they appeared to him as a guru and the, but the guru didn't know that the, he saw him in astral projecting that's because the demons are showing people what they're seeking as long as they're seeking a deception the fallen angels will manifest as an alien if you're looking for aliens as mm -hmm. a as a light worker or as a spirit guide they will take the form and tempt you according to your own lust so th so you feel like you're on the right track and your meditating is working they want you to believe that your meditating is working so mm -hmm. you meditate more when you meditate more they fill your temple with more legions of demons until the, they control the flesh to, to the point that this brother got to where they can rip the soul out of the body right Mm -hmm. And then when you're chosen, God will st let them do that up until the last minute. So you break and you call on him. Yeah. And, that, and, and it's God is watching the whole thing happen. But Amen. some people, if they're not, if they're not chosen by God, they will not come out of it. The devil will destroy them. Yeah, totally. Well, we should totally. be very grateful. Those people that came out of that. Like, like you said, brother, it was not on your own wisdom that you figured out that they were demons. God had yeah. to reveal it to you. Because exactly. they, they'll deceive you. You'll think you're completely right. I was preaching aliens to my family. I'm um, seeing like, you know, reptilian aliens are in my house. If you don't believe it, you're an idiot. They thought I went insane. But guess what? I was seeing those demons in my house and they were manifesting as aliens. Yo, how you preach aliens? Yeah, no, how, it, how do you it, even do that? Uh, God doesn't love the world. He sent some aliens. Does. How do you know no. aliens? I guarantee you, if you saw a gray alien walk through your house tonight, you'd be I preaching pre aliens too. Listen, this uh, is how it works. I rebuke that in the name of Christ. <laughs> yeah, Amen. Know. Look, look, this is how it works. The new age, the law of attraction is, is so deceiving and it works. It's real, real power, but it's not coming from God. It's coming straight from Satan. So that's how the people get deceived. They believe that once you send your thought to the universe, the universe gives it back to you. And once you start manifesting these things, you, you say, wow, this stuff is real. So it lures you in like that. And then you go deeper and deeper and deeper. You know what I mean? Satan is very crafty and he always has the same lie that you shall become a God. Right, right. That's what they teach, that you shall become a God, that you should become this enlightened being, that you'll be a Buddha. Like it's always the same lie to exalt yourself, to fill up that ego, bring that ego up. You know what I'm saying? So um, the advice I will give to people on this is, like I said, the Lord has to do all the work, to be honest. What we can do is... If we know somebody, because listen, when I was in this stuff, my mom, my aunt, my cousins, everybody tried telling me about Christ. It did not work. The Lord had to do the whole work. Okay. But yes, they planted a seed in me. So yes, we should go around and plant seeds in them. And then, you know, the Lord will increase. Amen. 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 Thank you for your testimony. Yeah. That's good stuff. Um, amen. 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 Hey guys, can I pray for you ministers before I leave? Because I gotta go. Yeah, please do. Amen. Amen. Uh, Amen. More prayer, man. More prayer. Now we got to have the cat. Amen. You know, you yeah. guys are ministers, and Satan loves to come against ministers. Amen. Amen. Thank Amen. you, brother. Amen. 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 Hallelujah, Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah. Lord, God of glory, God of power and might, God of honor, God of mercy, God of Amen. love, God of justice, God of heaven and earth. Oh, Lord Jesus Christ, this day we magnify your name, oh God. We lift you up on high, Lord God, higher than all that is called high, Lord Jesus. Why? Because you deserve it, Lord God. You are worthy of it all. The perfect Amen. sacrifice, the blood, Father God. I pray that you pour your blood on your ministers, Lord God, the blood that never loses its power, Lord Jesus. Let your blood anoint them, Lord God. Let your blood wash them, Lord Jesus. Bring, bring that heavenly manna, that new manna, Lord Jesus, from heaven, from above. Father God, I pray that you keep using your ministers, Lord God. I pray that you keep using them, Lord Jesus, that the Spirit of God may remain in them, Lord Jesus, that their names may be written in the Lamb's Book of Life, Thank that their you. names may remain on there, Lord God Almighty. 
Father, I pray that you use their mind, Lord Jesus. Anoint the mind, anoint the eyes, anoint the ears, Lord Jesus. Anoint the mouth that they may be instruments, Lord God, in these last days, that they may yeah. glorify yeah. your mighty name, O oh God, all day, all night, yeah. Lord Jesus. That they may see God, that God is living, that they may see a God that is living, Lord Jesus. Not a God that is dead, yeah. but a God that, that resurrected yeah. from the dead, that is sitting at the right hand of God, at the right hand Thank of you, power, Jesus. Lord God Almighty. So, Father, I pray that you have your way in your ministers, O oh God, that they may continue to exalt your mighty name, O oh God, that people may come to know you through them, Lord God. Make them Amen. bold, Lord Jesus. Make them bold, people, yes, Lord God. God, in these last days, O oh God. Amen. So, Father, we thank you and we glorify you. We magnify you, Lord Jesus. You receive all the honor, all the glory, and all the power in Jesus' name. We pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Yo, amen. In Jesus name. I felt that, brother. I felt that. I felt that. Wow. Hallelujah. Jesus name forever. Amen. Wow. Yep.